Hey everyone, Steve with Off Grid 48. Welcome back. So, you know, I think we can all agree that we're uh, living in some pretty troubling times. I've seen uh, things uh, the last couple of years I never thought I'd ever see in my life. Global pandemic, tons of government overreach, food shortages, fuel shortages, fuel costs higher than they've ever been in recorded history. Uh, it's pretty scary uh, when you think it, of all the crazy things that are happening. And, uh, you know, it's enough to make you want to run away to the mountains and get, live in your cabin, which is something I do every chance I get. Uh, but I'm not the only one. More and more people every day are leaving the city and suburbs and moving to the country and attempt to move off grid or homestead, try to regain back some of that uh, control over their life that uh, we've lost and add some security and a better lifestyle. Um, one of the first issues that you've got to deal with in doing that is um, what are you going to do for power? You know, we want to go off grid and we want to do homestead, but we really don't want to give up any of our luxuries. We still want to have our lights, our TVs, our appliances, computers. We want to have all these things, uh, but now we're going to have to generate our own power. So what do we do? Um, well, depending on where you live, and what your resources are, you know, you may generate your own power through uh, wind energy. You may use micro hydro. Uh, you may use solar. Uh, you may use a combination of these things to generate your own power. But regardless of what you use, more than likely you're going to have one or more generators in the mix. And uh, probably multiple different sizes. Generators are a great tool. They come in all sizes and shapes to fit whatever size power needs that you need. Uh, but they require fuel. You, these generators, they run on gasoline, propane, natural gas, even diesel. Um, so they're a great tool. You will need them as part of your energy solution. But then the next question that comes up is, what are you going to do if the price of fuel becomes uh, prohibitively expensive? What happens if you can't get the fuel? What if you can't get gasoline or propane? Uh, then what are you going to do? Um, so when you think... Wouldn't it be nice if you could just generate your own fuel out of a free, uh, abundant resource? Uh, and you can do that uh, using a process that's been used for over 200 years in the country called gasification. We can actually create our own fuel from wood, any type of wood. We basically go through a process of gasification that burns this wood in a controlled environment of extremely high temperatures, low oxygen. It breaks this wood down into its basic components of carbon and gas. We take that gas, we cool it down, we filter out any contaminants, uh, and then we can use it. That gas has very similar properties to propane or natural gas, so we can use it to cook with, we can use it to heat with, we can use it as fuel for our engines, we can even use it as fuel for our vehicles. So it's a great resource, and uh, it, it uses a free, abundant resource that's available to everybody. Um, now, to do this process, you need a, a, what's called a wood gasifier. I've got one here. I've got one here. The wood gasifier is what actually takes this wood and breaks it down and creates the, the fuel for you. Now, a gasifier is kind of a specialized item, so it's not the kind of thing that you can just go down to Home Depot and pick up. It's uh, You either got to build it yourself or you got to have somebody like me build it for you, um, uh, which is not a problem. Um, but uh, once you have this, basically it's a one-time investment in the gasifier, and then you've got <clears throat> your ability to create your own fuel for free, for life. Um, so it's it's really a great uh, a great resource to have. And the other nice thing about using wood gas as a fuel for your engine is you don't have to modify your engine. So uh, you can still use it. If I've got a gasoline generator, I can still run it on gasoline. If I can't get gasoline, I can put in a simple adapter plate and then run it off of wood gas. So what essentially what we're doing with... Uh, wood gas is I'm turning a single fuel generator into a bifuel generator. I'm turning a bifuel generator into a tri-fuel generator. I'm turning a tri-fuel generator into a quad generator. So it gives me all these options uh, to always make sure that I have power. So in the event that I just simply cannot get gas, I, I can always make my own fuel and always have the ability to generate power. So it's a very empowering uh, uh, feature to be able to be completely independent and be able to uh, generate your own fuel for power. Um, so if you're not familiar with wood gas, I suggest you go ahead and research it. Check out our website. Um, if it's something that you want to learn more about, uh, contact us directly. I'll be glad to tell you and show you how you can use wood gas as part of your energy independence. 
Uh, it's an excellent uh, resource for you to have. And uh, in today's world, it's going to give you that peace of mind to take care of yourself and your family. So anyways, uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, if you find the information uh, useful, feel free to subscribe. Reach out to me if you want some more information on how we can help you learn about wood gas and how it can benefit you. Uh, that's about it, guys. All right, thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one.